Hey guys, Dead Rings here again. Welcome to my hero build series. Uh, today we're going to be covering the squire, the blockade squire more effectively, or walling squire as you may have heard of him. Um, pretty simple build. Uh, there's a few little bits and pieces you, you do need to know though. Uh, and it can be really effective um, for, as I said, blocking, uh, just cutting, cutting off that lane. Especially if you don't have like, you know, the towers like a, P a PDT, a Huntress with, you know, a lot of defense power just yet. Uh, it can be very effective just to stop those mobs from going and destroying your other towers. Uh, so let's get into it. So, quite simple. All you need uh, in terms of passives and, uh, you know, just stuff in general, sorry, your equipment in general. Uh, you just need defense health. Defense power is good as well, uh, but defense health health is the main one. Um, now, as far as I know, on the shields, you cannot get defense health. Um, so, just get whatever shield you want that looks best. Uh, but on the on this one, uh, you can get uh, defense health on the uh, sword. Sorry. Um, there's some. There's one main uh, item which you need, which is a legendary totem. Uh, that's got hearty blockade. That's the main thing that you need. Uh, with hearty blockade, that's up to 40%. Um, 38, sorry, up to 40% and mine is 38% of my defense health is added to the spike blockades. Spike blockades defense health. That's a nice boost. You know, it's getting on for you know 40, 50% there. Now, the other things that you want to look out for is automation. There's a 25% chance that Spike Blockade repairs 14% of damage dealt on hit. Uh, that's quite nice. Um, it's definitely not going to be a deal breaker, but you know I've got it on one, two, three of my uh, piece of equipment there. Uh, I don't know how it stacks. If that means I've now got a 75% chance to heal for something, I, I don't know. Actually, it probably wouldn't start that. Sounds a bit silly. But um, it certainly does uh, help out. Uh, so if you get hit, let's say for a hundred thousand damage, um, then you know sixteen thousand uh, HP will be healed instantly, uh, which is quite nice. So that's definitely something else to look out for. But everything else, just defense health is your main uh, concern priority. Then defense power is secondary. Uh, let's go have a look at my uh, spheres. Then you can see I've done here health, health, and power. I don't think there was another health one that I could do. Um, this movement speed as well, which I've put on. There's nothing else actually uh, to use within this category, uh, which is why I went ahead and just bought movement speed, so I'm quicker uh, running around the map when I'm building stuff. Uh, and then Vengeance Sphere for my large. Uh, so it's 50% of the damage taken by a spli spike blockade is returned in its next attack. Uh, that's that's really quite nice. Uh, so again, if you get hit for 100,000 damage, uh, you will deal back 50,000. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, that's pretty nice. And for the Uber uh, Sphere, there's a 5% chance uh, that it will shield itself for 100% of defense health for 3 seconds. Uh, that's quite nice. You'll see like a little bubble uh, appear around the spike, blo the spike blockade. Uh, so that's pretty good, that one. Stats, bit of a no-brainer. Pour everything into defense health, and then otherwise it doesn't really matter. But y you may as well do defense power. Uh, so that's it. So mine are currently at 408,000 on tier 1. If you upgrade to the max, 816,000 HP. So that's, that's pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good defense right there. That can hold back uh, an ogre or something else for quite some time. Uh, giving you that extra chance to go kill it or do whatever you need to do. So there you have it. There's the Squire Spike Blockade build. Um, it's just one build really. I mean you can, because you've got so much, uh, it's got relatively good uh, defense power uh, and obviously very high HP, you can use training dummies as well. Uh, they've got pretty good base power, uh, base HP rather, and pretty good base, uh, sort of upgraded. Uh, HP as well, uh, with the attack damage being uh, not too bad. Um, but they're, they're another option as well, and the fact that they use 20 DU instead of uh, 30 DU, uh, that's another option for you there, because you've got so much defense health. 
so yeah there's the blockade squire anyway thanks for watching guys uh, if you've got any more suggestions on what you want to see uh, let me know in the comments down below and if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button thanks again catch you later